taking a look here at the RF power and SWR monitor I built for one of my clients uh, who owns a paging company, multi-site paging company. And in a moment, we'll take a look at how it works. Uh, this originally was a Glen Air uh, RF power and SWR monitor. Nobody seems to be able to locate schematics or wiring diagrams on them, so I gutted it and just used the uh, front panel and the board mount, basically the chassis and everything else I put together based on an Arduino and display and power sensor and everything. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second here. Peeking over the top of the front panel, you can see the Arduino board sitting there underneath with a piggyback board on top. And everything's wired to that. Let's go around and try to take a look from the back. It's a little tough to get in here and see it, but there's the back of the 16 by 2 LCD display. And there's a view of the Arduino and the PE backboard. Let's go around and run a couple of quick tests on it. Okay, under normal conditions, when it's idle, it's going to show NAN for VSWR because it's trying to do a divide by zero because there's zero reflected power. And of course, that's not a valid number. But anyway, let's take a look at the display. Let's put it into transmit. 91.32 forward, reflected 0 0.18 watts, VSWR 1.09. So that's working. Now let's see what happens when there's an alarm condition. What I have done is disconnected uh, this load, which we're using here in the lab on it. So we're going to try to transmit 90 watts into an open line it's open down there coming out of the power sensor and let's see what happens what we really want to watch is here and we have audible alarm and that red led right there will stay latched until we reset it now let's go back over and hit the transmit again and see what it's saying about the bswr 5.02 definitely a problem not good for the PA. Fortunately, we do have an isolator on this unit, which goes up and it feeds into this load. So that 36 point something watts is just bouncing back at a uh, load there and won't come back at the PA and actually damage it. Still, we want to know if there's transmission line problems. And this LED for high SWR will stay latched until the system is reset. So if you're away from the system and you come back and you see that red LED on, the system is telling you that there has been a high SWR event. You need to be checking to see what's going on. So there we go. There is my Arduino-based uh, power and SWR monitor. And the load, or the excuse me, the power sensor that's on there right now can do 350 watts. Uh, we've got some on the way, 100 watt ones. We're going to save the 350 for one we've got that can do 400 watts. So. Anyway, there you go. Hope you have a great day. 73, everyone.